New details on a wrong way crash on Route 295 that sent one woman to the hospital last night. The driver accused of causing the crash is now facing DUI charges. There is some good news today. Only Eyewitness News was there as a dog missing since the collision is found safe and sound. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner was at today's emotional reunion and joins us now live from State Police Headquarters in Situate. Jared. Shannon and Steve, we figure that dog was in the woods for about 17 hours. And tonight, family tell us her owner is home from the hospital and doing well. After a night of this on I-295 in Johnston. That is so cool. A reunion between owner and missing dog. Only eyewitness news there as fear becomes elation. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, you wanna go see mommy? Yeah, we can go see mommy, mommy's okay. Mommy's okay. Is there anything more joyful? Talking, but how you doing now? A lot better. My fiance's alive, my dog's alive. The dog is one and a half year old Scarlett. The fiance is 27 year old Samantha Kennelly. The two together here. Kennelly was hit head on by a suspected drunk wrong way driver near exit six last night. His pickup slamming into her Kia while barreling south on 295 North in the car with her Scarlett. Nowhere to be found after the crash. Night became day. On Friday, faced with deep, sprawling brush, fiance Dave Kenoy heads into the woods for Scarlet. Joined by two volunteers, perfect strangers, moved by the story. After a while, Steve Sypik sees something against a tree close to the road and to the crash scene. Dave Kenoy goes running, and from the tree line, Dave so cool. cradling a black fur ball. Scarlet had stayed put through the night. Sometimes words just aren't required. Oh my God. As for that pickups driver, 57-year-old Robert Allen of Johnston, he is charged tonight with DUI and driving to in danger, resulting in injury. He was arraigned from his hospital bed, and toxicology is now pending on blood that was drawn from him. Coming up new at 6 o'clock, those volunteers who helped find Scarlett today. For now live at State Police Headquarters in Situate, Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News. But first at 6, the driver is facing charges tonight for a fiery wrong way crash on I-295. This was first breaking last night at 10. The crash left a woman injured and her dog missing until this afternoon when the dog named Scarlett was finally found and only Eyewitness News was there for this reunion. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pleiner joins us live from State Police Headquarters in Situate with the new details. Jared. Shannon and Steve, we brought you the full reunion at 5 o'clock. Don't worry, you're still going to see it. But new at 6 o'clock, people were so concerned about this year-and-a-half-old dog, they were calling up the state police, even showing up off the highway to help search for her. A burning car from a wrong-way suspected drunk driving crash on 295 in Johnston. 27-year-old victim Samantha Kennelly heard the suspect heard but no sign of Samantha's dog, Scarlett, missing after the impact. A fall night and 17 hours later, so eyewitness cool. news there for something remarkable. Out of the woods. It's okay. It's okay, you wanna go see mommy? Yeah, we can go see mommy, mommy's okay. Kennelly's fiance, Dave Kenoy, with perfect strangers, volunteers who saw the news faced deep woods. I was walking back to the truck to get some water and I saw her up against a tree over there. Scarlett looking alert and well, greeted with water and food. It's so emotional because you just, I'm just a dog lover and just to see him reunited, it's just amazing. I'm just so glad that, that she was found safely. And just sent in to us tonight, a duo out of their ordeals. You know what they say about pictures and words. And as you can tell from that photo, Kennelly back home, continuing her recovery. By the way, the suspected drunk driver in all of this, identified by troopers at Robert Allen, 57 years old, of Johnston, now charged with DUI and driving to endanger, resulting in bodily injury. Live at State Police Headquarters tonight in Situate, I'm Jared Pleiner, Eyewitness News.